guys, and welcome to Miss Hernandez's Kitchen Library. I have a fun activity for us today, Makerspace. So what is Makerspace? Makerspace are hands-on activities where we learn, and I decided I wanted to join this lesson up with Miss Callahan, our music teacher. So I'm gonna kinda be doing part one of our lesson today. We're gonna be building castanets. And then Miss Callahan's gonna take it over and she's gonna teach you a lesson with the castanets, okay? So there's a few things that you're gonna need to build a homemade castanet. You're going to need some cardboard, okay, maybe a ruler so we can measure, some scissors, a marker or different markers, paint, however you want it, whatever you wanna use to decorate your castanets. Um, I'm gonna use a hot glue gun and then some bottle caps. Topo Chico, um, Coca-Cola, Sprite, whatever kind of bottle caps you have, it's gonna work great, okay? So the first thing that you're gonna do is we are going to measure out on our cardboard, okay? We are gonna measure out um, about a five and a half inch long rectangle by, um, this one is about one and a half inches, okay? So five and a half by one and a half, you're going to want two of them, okay? One, two. And then you're gonna wanna cut them in half into two separate pieces. And then, once you have your two separate pieces, like this, okay? You're going to wanna get one of your bottle caps, and you're gonna kind of hold it on the end, like so. And you're going to trim around, okay? Trim around the end of the bottle cap, okay? So it's gonna kind of make a curved ending, kind of like this here, okay? Um, once you have your curves, you can do that to both sides of the cardboard, okay? So when you're done, you are gonna end up with two strips of cardboard, like this, with curved ends to them. Both sides, you can decorate these however you want. Use your markers, use your paint, make them decorative. Then you're going to take the cardboard and you're going to fold it in half, like so. You're gonna get two of them, okay? Fold them in half, this is what it's going to make our castanets, all right? But we have to add our clickers in there. So that's where the bottle caps come in. So I've got some Topo Chico bottle caps we're gonna use today, all right? Um, and you know what? I actually, I did not have any of these Topo Chico ones. I actually just like sent a message out through Facebook to like my neighborhood page and said, hey, does anyone have any Coca-Cola or Topo Chico bottle caps they can use? And a lady, Message me right back and gave me a whole bag of them. So if you don't have any, maybe you can find some around your neighborhood or something, okay? Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and I am gonna glue on, okay, these um, bottle caps onto the cardboard, on the inside of the cardboard, okay? I'm just gonna put a little thing of glue. We're gonna push them down. If you don't have a glue gun, probably just use Elmer's glue and push it down into the cardboard a little bit, or glue dots, that would be fine too, okay? So you gotta do this to bow strips, add your glue. I'm just using hot glue because it's gonna dry like a lot quicker than the other glue, and I want you guys to see what the finished product's gonna look like, okay? So on the inside, you're gonna have your little bottle caps like this. Ooh. Ooh, look at those castanets coming together. We gotta have two though. So you gotta do the glue on this side as well. Okay, add your other bottle cap on, just like that. And then last one, we're going to glue our last one on, just like this. You know what, I should have done the glue out a little bit, but I think it's gonna stay anyway. Perfect, all right? And when you're done, you should have your Tobo Chico bottle caps right there. Designs are on the other side. Let's fold it in half. And we're ready to make music. Take it away, Miss Callahan. I'll see you guys next time. 
Bye bye. Hi everyone, this is Miss Callahan. Okay, now that we've made our castanets with Miss Hernandez, let's move on to the music lesson portion. Let's learn how to play it first of all. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna get your first finger and your thumb and your second finger. Go like this. Now with your other hand, boom, both together. Let's just go ta, ta, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Very good, now let's try it with our castanets. So, two fingers on top, one on thumb on bottom, like so. Ready? Ta, ta, ta. Ta, 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 rest. Ta, 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 rest. Very good, now you've got it. Now let's just try doing different rhythms with it. You can clap it really fast, like so, or you can do slow motion. But basically, you're gonna find the way that it, you have the most control with your castanets. Now, the song we're gonna be learning today is El Vito. It is a Spanish folk song from Spain. Okay, now let's learn the song. So what I want you to do is repeat after me, or echo after me. Ready? Con el Vito, Vito, Vito. Con el Vito, Vito, Vito. Con el Vito, Vito va. From the pen of De Cervantes, from the pen of De Cervantes, rode the night of Don Quixote, the night of Don Quixote. He was brave and poco loco, he was brave and poco loco. He rode his horse Rosinante, he rode his horse Rosinante. And then we go back to the first part. Okay, ready? Con el vito, vito, vito. Con el vito, vito, vito. Con el vito, vito va. Con el vito, vito va. And repeat that again. So let's go to the second verse. And his square was Sancho Panza. Ready? And his square was Sancho Panza. His squire was Sancho Panza. Dulcinea, his muchacha. Dulcinea, his muchacha. Don Quixote, errant master. Don Quixote, errant master. Was a great man a la mancha. Was a great man a la mancha. And then we go back to the chorus part. Con el vito, vito, vito. Con el vito, vito, vito. Con el vito, vito va. Vito, vito va. And then we repeat it again. And go to the coda at the end. And there's the song. So now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna stand up, and we're gonna learn the movements with our castanets. It's gonna be real simple and fun. Let's do it. Ready? Okay, let's get our castanets on. I put a rubber band around mine to help keep them on my fingers, like so. And let's learn the dance. So on the first part, we're gonna go, con el vito, vito, vito. That part, we're gonna go, step, three, four, one, two, three, step, two, three, step, two, three. Now let's do it a little bit faster, ready? Con el vito, vito, vito. And we repeat it again, and we just keep on doing that. Now the second part is, during the verses, we're gonna strike a pose like this, and we're gonna go tiki tiki ti ti ti. And then the other way, tiki tiki ti ti ti. So it's gonna be tiki tiki ti ti ti, tiki tiki ti ti ti, tiki tiki ti ti ti, tiki tiki ti ti ti. Now let's try it with the music, ready?
Good job! Hey guys, hope you had fun singing to Alvito, dancing and playing your homemade castanets. We want to see a picture of your castanets. So for your assignment, please send us a picture of your castanets that you made and maybe a video of you playing them, okay? Until then, hope you had a great time. Hope you have fun. Wash your hands, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.